Tom Nappy here with the head coach of the boys varsity basketball team, Tom Keen, and the girls varsity basketball team, Mike Greco. Guys, how's it going? Great. Very well. Great Thanks to be here. Having us. All right, so I understand there's a uh, basketball camp coming up. We'll get to that in just a second. But Mike, first I want to ask you, how does it feel to take over the girls varsity program this season? Uh, it feels great. Um, I'm very, very excited about the opportunity. Um, you know, I, I went to high school in Hopkinton, played basketball in Hopkinton, and I've been coaching here for the last 11 years uh, with Tom. And I'm, I'm, I'm very, very excited now to you know, head up my own program and be able to do it in Hopkinton. All right. Now, what do you look to bring to this uh, girls' varsity basketball team? Uh, hopefully, a lot of energy. Um, I would really like to. I think we have the athletes this year to play some up-tempo basketball. Um, you know, really bring in uh, kind of a defensive style where our defense can hopefully create some offense, and uh, you know, get up and down the court. And it's it's a lot of fun to play that way. All right. Well, we look forward to it, and hopefully, it'll be a fantastic season for you in your first year as the varsity girls' head coach. Uh, could you explain what people? Uh, what athletes will get at this camp and the benefits that it, it will bring them? Absolutely. So uh, Mike and I have been involved in the camp now, uh, myself for over um, 30 years and Mike for over 20 years yep. now. So um, it's a fantastic camp, originally run uh, by the legendary Dick Bliss, who was a, a PE teacher and a coach here in town. And uh, we're going to continue the tradition that he set up with a high energy camp that's fun for the kids and a safe environment where the kids can really learn the fundamentals of basketball and have a great time. So there's a lot to each day and uh, we really look forward to running it again and we, we, look, we know that a lot of people are, make, are making summer plans right now but we, we hope to uh, make sure that we get some camp results of both the boys and the girls camp this year. Now you guys work together a little bit to plan out this camp. Can you explain some of the drills and, and what happens at these camps? Sure, yeah, we've been doing it together forever, and uh, so the, the way the day kind of works is the, the morning ends up with a lot of fundamental drills, fundamental skills, uh, it kind of builds throughout the week, so it's really great for players of all skill levels, all ages. Um, as the morning goes on, we get into some team competitions, some individual competitions, and every camper gets to play uh, both a morning and an afternoon game, and then in addition, you know, different points throughout the day will give uh, very short lectures um, and demonstrations using some of the varsity players and former varsity players um, on you know, some of the finer points of basketball, you know, some offensive stuff and some defensive stuff. All right. Uh, can you talk about any players that are going to be uh, working with you guys for these camps? Sure. Uh, for the boys varsity team, we've got quite a few of the um, kids coming to work with us that are going to be playing uh, on the upcoming varsity team. Um, Nick Canal and Matt Locke and uh, Cooper Corby and I'm sure I'm missing a, a quite, a, quite a few and we'll have a lot of former players that played um, on last year's team and previous years. Um, so it's become a great tradition as far as that goes. The, the kids a lot of times they'll go from campers to counselors to eventually coaches and usually we have the older guys um, coach the kids that are usually in college coach and then the kids that are still uh, with the Hillers varsity team are usually our counselors. So it's become a great tradition as far as that goes. And the kids love working with the Hillers during the camp and then getting to see them play in the wintertime. They, they really like that relationship. All right, and I'll throw you both on the spot a little bit. I'm going to ask you each for uh, the biggest reason you should do this camp if you want to play basketball at Hopkinton. We'll start with Coach Greco. What's the biggest reason you should do this camp? It's fun. It's fun. It's, it's a great environment that the kids, um, they, they come and they just, they're moving all day, playing all day, and they're there with, you know, 30 or 40 of their buddies. Um, and, and I think that, you know, have, having attended the camp, you know, way, way back when, it's just, it's a really, really fun week. All right. Coach yeah. Keene? Yeah, on the boys' side, you know, I, I'm going to echo what Coach Greco says. Um, it's a tremendous amount of fun, and it's not just for the players that want to play for the Hillers someday, because... We'll have on the boys' side um, 160 campers in those two weeks, um, and we get all sorts of kids. You know, kids that are interested in wrestling and baseball, but they like being with their friends and they like learning the fundamentals and the way it's set up. It's I think it's fun for everybody, and it's the highlight of the summer for a lot of the kids. Yep. And if I'm correct, you don't have to be from Hopkinton to do this camp. You could come from surrounding towns as well, if, if I'm correct. Right. The vast majority of the kids come from Hopkinton, I'd say probably 99 or yep. 98%, I'd say. But 
Um, you know, we definitely have uh, spots available on both the boys' side and the girls' side, um, and we, we welcome people from other towns. But for the most part, it's always been uh, mostly Hoppington kids. Well, and if you are looking to play, it'll certainly help you conditioning-wise and stay in the basketball shape. Absolutely.